Hi, and welcome to another episode of Starship Gaming. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you want notifications of when we release more awesome videos. Now let's jump right into today's topic. The Ouya was a console that a lot of people had a lot of hope in uh, when it started its whole crowdfunding thing uh, eight years ago before going into production in 2013. But it was really... It had a lot of missteps. If you're not familiar with the Ouya, it was a console, or more specifically a micro console, that used a Android-based OS and took no physical media of any kind. It was completely a download-only console, or I should say micro console. And it was one of the most successful Kickstarters in history, one of the most successful crowdfunding projects in history. Um, and uh, ultimately, it failed. And Ouya had a pretty decent library, um, and also developers could could have made games for it. Um, you know, the deal was that you could develop a game for Ouya, but it had to be an Ouya exclusive for at least six months. But developers had really free range on developing games for uh, this micro console. It launched at $99 and actually sold pretty decently uh, for a while and then suddenly just dropped off the radar. I remember personally wanting one of these when they launched and then after a year had passed, you know, I decided, eh, I don't really want one. But the thing was, there was a lot of missteps with the Ouya. Of course, the company uh, eventually went into debt by 2015 and eventually uh, you know tried to sell the company and nothing became of it uh, until that summer when Razer Incorporated ended up uh, getting the rights to the Ouya and all that jazz it's yeah it was kind of a mess and after all of that was acquired the console was uh, discontinued uh, by midsummer 2015. And eventually, by summer of 2019, I think it was June 2019, uh, the Ouya storefront and all that was shut down. So basically, these things, if they're still hanging around, they're just really expensive paperweights now. Or, you know, if you can call dishing out $99 expensive for a micro console, which, yeah, that's a decent chunk of cash i mean it's not like you know buying a two three four five hundred dollar console and it suddenly becomes obsolete because it requires the internet and an account and all that to function properly but yeah i think you understand where where i'm getting at in 2012 when this thing was still you know just starting getting ready to be you know just had started crowdfunding uh a lot of People really thought it was a scam. Even gaming magazines and, you know, you know, computer magazines at the time thought this was just one big scam that would never take it to production, that these people were just taking people's money. And, um, you know, a lot of people, uh, you know, were basically proven wrong when this thing made it to production, but ultimately it failed by 2015. And it very well could have been successful if the proper steps were taken. This micro console, this console, is a good example of how not to launch a product. And how not to sell your product. It didn't really have any widespread um, appeal to it. Actually, it really didn't until after it was discontinued in 2015. A lot of people started hearing more about it, just out of the blue, and it, you know, I, I didn't start getting really any interest in it until about 2016 myself, but by that point, you couldn't buy a new one. You could only buy used ones, and, and around my area, unless I bought it online, used Ouyas were as rare as finding a Bigfoot. And it's kind of a shame that it failed because honestly, it could have been something really great. Now, I'm not saying that it completely failed. Uh, it did have some level of success, but overall, uh, there was just a lot of missteps uh, taken to 
uh, make sure that this thing was able to survive in the market uh, against the uh, the high rollers like Microsoft and Sony and Nintendo. And other new consoles that are coming on the market should learn from this. Uh, it's a good educational uh, example, a textbook example. Um, you have the new um, Intellivision Amico and the uh, Atari VCS. They both need to learn. Um, you know, both of them are, you know, the course they're using, names have been established decades ago, but they need to learn the mistakes of the Ouya to make their, uh, you know, to, to better their products, because if you don't learn from the mistakes of the past, uh, it, it could very well go south. And I think any, uh, company that brings a new, uh, console or micro console to the market, uh, they need to, uh, y you know, do their research on the Ouya, find out what made it fail, and avoid, uh, you know, uh, avoid those steps. So the Ouya is basically the most successful failure in history. I mean, uh, it's Kickstarter, um, it was extremely successful, um, but, uh, you know, once we got the product, uh, it kind of, uh, fell flat of, uh, expectations and, uh, eventually was discontinued. Um, so, yeah, what more can I say about the Ouya? So, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you want notifications of when we make more awesome videos. And until next time, I will see ya.